Let me turn over. Hello! So I have ordered a new sewing machine and I wanted to be able to share with you my open. So it just came in the mail today and I'm looking at the box right now. The box is in great shape. I did order it from Amazon. Um, I have Prime there and the price was the same as everywhere else. So I figured I'd get um, two day shipping and here it is two days later. Um, so as you can see, it's a brother. Um, it's the brother of CS6000. And it, um, I'm actually trading in my Husqvarna for this one. Well, not really trading it in, um, but I'm going to be writing a blog post really soon on why I just chose this one um, as kind of an upgrade. And I'll tell you why I think that this is an upgrade to my Husqvarna. Um, so let's just go ahead and open it. Claire, do you wanna come watch with me? Come here. Blanket down over there, sweetie. Okay. All right. Do you want to open it up? What's in here? All right. Let's take out a couple things first. Okay. So the first thing that I'm seeing is just the um, the presser foot, and we'll just go ahead and open this and set it aside. It looks like it's in great shape. I like that it has the ribbing on it, so that way my foot won't fall off. Let's see what the, oh, there's just some tools for this sewing machine. Hold on a minute, sweetie. Mama's gonna help here. All right, so this is just the styrofoam. You wanna go and put this on the table, sweetie? Oh, the plan is this one. Okay, well you can bring it over there. Go take it over here. Okay, so this is the removable table. I've never had one of these before, um, but basically like where you would take off the arms so you could sew asleep, you can put this on so then you have more of a working area. I'm actually really excited to use this. Um, and this comes with it for free. I'm gonna set this aside. Here it is. So it comes with a nice case cover. And here it is. I'm going to set this on the floor so I can take a really good look. Thank you. From everything I've read, the manual is awesome and it teaches you everything you need to know about buttonholes and um, and of course all of those feet come with it. Um, or that's what it has said anyhow. So I'm really excited to do that. Yes, here I'll move it for you. Is that it? Okay. Okay. So unpack this a little bit more so then this would come up and that um, extra table would go on it it's n it's very lightweight um, which I really like there are a whole there are 60 stitches on it um, and that does not include if you use a double needle you know so that ends up doubling it um, to have a double needle on there which I've actually um, only used a few times and so that'll be really fun but there's a lot of really decorative stitches on here too um, and then the presser feet that comes with it I bet you are in here let me just open it up here there's one in here and this really looks like a walking foot actually 
which is really cool because I had purchased a walking foot that I love um, on Amazon for my Husqvarna. Oh my goodness, I use it all the time. Every time I'm working with knits, I use it. Anytime I'm working with PUL, which is a waterproof fabric, I use it. Um, any kind of um, thinner fabrics, I like to use it for. Okay, so there's definitely something in here. I just don't know how to open it. Oh, it's, it's like a little, a little pouch. So I just took that right off the front. Here, right here. I just took this off the front, and then inside it was a pouch. And in the pouch, she's having a great time with that box. Okay, so I've got a zipper foot. Um, I have an N foot, whatever that is. I'll have to look that up in a minute. Uh, a bunch of extra needles, 14s, a double needle, and some thicker needles. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Something. I'll have to look that up too. It kind of reminds me of an owl or an owl, owl, A-E-W-L. Um, but I don't think that's what it is. Let's see here. Um, another foot that I'm not entirely sure what this is called. So I'll have to look that up too. Some bobbins, but it only comes with three bobbins. Um, thankfully, it is the same kind that I use. Um, like, there's a few different types in the store, and this is the most common. So, I'll just be able to continue to use the bobbins that I have, so I won't have to go and rewind a bunch of bobbins. So, that's nice. Oh, and I actually think that this is some kind of an embroidery um, foot. I've never used one of those before. That's exciting. This is not an embroidery machine, but I guess that you can um, still freehand it, so that's kind of fun. I looked at some embroidery machines and I um, I decided to go with this one instead. And I'll explain that in the blog. Okay, so maybe this is the free handing one. I'll have to look that up too. Actually, I think that's a zipper one. And another foot. Man, there's all these. I don't even know what they are. So that's exciting. I love getting new stuff. Okay, so then... Take off some of this here. I love that it's computerized and um, that it'll just be a really quick um, push of the button. You know, another thing that I love about this machine is that they have a go, going faster, and a going faster speed. Um, I was reading reviews about that. This right here, if you want to control the amount of speed that your machine has, whether you just you know don't want to push the presser foot too hard on accident, you're working with some delicate fabrics, or if you're teaching your um, daughters how to sew, like I'm constantly um, trying to keep them slow on my machine, and so this will be a really good uh, technique to be able to keep them slowed down. Um, so I, there's two posts. Yeah, maybe there's not two posts or a double needle. That's interesting. Um, there is a fabric or a, a thread cutter here. This is obviously where you'd wind your bobbin. Okay, so then you're gonna open up this extra package that came with it. And there's a little brush um, for cleaning out any extra dust. I don't have any idea what this is. Um, you took that box over there, didn't you, sweetie? I'll have to look that up in a minute. There's another kind of a guide here. A, um, for undoing the screws here when you have to open it up to clean it. Please do not touch those things. Nice. They, those are needles. Those are for my machine. This is a um, thank you, a seam ripper. Can never have too many of those. If you lose it, you're always wanting it. Um, Hi. This, I believe. I no, this would be for using a double needle. Oh, okay, right here. So you can actually have two in tandem. Um, Threads. I was kind of getting worried for a minute that I couldn't use a double needle, but it did come with a double needle and the extra 
um, post there. And then this is my favorite attachment, um, the walking foot. And if you don't have a walking foot, and if your sewing machine doesn't have a walking foot, get one of these. <laughs> I'll have a link on my blog, um, the one that I also have. Okay, so I think that's everything. I can't wait to go and try it and see if it's nice and quiet. Um, usually all my sewing time is done during nap time. Um, yes, when you're taking a nap too. And so yeah, thanks for joining me. Okay. You were being very noisy in that. I was doing a recording. You were not.